Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Enorita Dreams and in this channel I teach you some online tips, some digital marketing tips, especially if you are an online entrepreneur that is just starting out. When you're starting, it can be a challenge, a very huge challenge. I remember when I started years back, it wasn't easy for me. I'm not a computer person. I'm a medical laboratory scientist. But I decided to do something and to do a lot of study. And I discovered that for somebody that is starting out, it is good to have somebody that also started out without knowing anything. So welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about videos. No matter what you do online, videos are so important. And a lot of people have been asking me, how do you put up your videos? Are there things I can use that are free? Are there, are there video making tools or video creation tools online that I can just use without having to pay anything, at least to start off? I'm glad to tell you that today I'm going to be tell, showing you some video creation tools and even video editing tools that are completely free. So enough of the talking, let's start with the first one. Now, this is my very first uh, video creation software that is completely free. And for me, this is the best video creation software that you can get and use it free. I've been using Canva for years. So now, if you want to create a video, once you get to your Canva account, you just go here and click there. It takes you to this page and you have a section of a video highlighted. So the next thing you do, you just go here that shows uploads. Once you click on that icon, you see here, you click on record yourself. So once you get here, now this is where it begins. So you can see yours truly here. It automatically shows you as long as you have a webcam on your computer or you've attached a camera to your computer. For me, I'm using a desktop, so I attached a camera to my computer. You can buy your camera, very, it's not so expensive. You can buy it from Amazon and all that. So once you have that, this is this page, and this is where we're going to be working with if you're going to be recording your videos. So once you see something like this, you click here if you want just the camera to show. But today we are talking about how to, you know, create a video. And to be able to create a video, you need to record your screen. So you click on screen record right here. And this small box comes out. So if you click on this box, and you click on this, sorry, this is in Dutch, but this means share. So I repeat, the very first one, share your entire screen. That's what this means. And then this means share. So once you click on this, when we click on record, it's going to share our screen. That means whatever you're going to, to you know, whatever screen you go to, whatever uh, channels you have open on your computer that you want to talk about or you want to do a video about it will be recording it so let's just record a few seconds of my screen so to do that you can press record here before we go to all that let me show you something here some of you might not know what this stands for if you click here, you can change the shape of your face, you know, if you want it square. Click back, it goes back. And this here, you can use it to, you know, move it all around to whatever section. If you want it to be here, if you want it to be here, you can move it around. So let's leave it there. And this has to do with effects. So that means if you want your face to be a little bit bright, you can click any of the effects that you want. Like if I click here, it will make my face a little bit, the picture, brighter. So whatever tone you want. If you want it to have a tone, your picture to have a tone, you can click whatever one you want here. 
and i have to say that all this you can do it with a free account you don't need to have a pro account i'm using a pro account but you don't need to have a pro account to be able to access all that i am showing you now so you have the option to you know make your picture look the way that you want then if you come over to this effect effects you can just do a skin smoothening as you can see my face is not looking too smooth it's not looking too smooth so if i just click on this it took smoothen my face and make it look a little bit uh, you see you can see it makes it look a little bit better so i like it like that so once you're done with that we can now close it and then let's go back to doing the recording so i'm okay with the way it is looking now to record as i said you come here to where you have your uh icon head icon just click on it and it shows you these two places and then you click on this to be able to record your screen and once that is on you click on it again you know to highlight it and then you click on share So once you click on share so now let's go ahead and record just a few seconds of you know there's a countdown and then it's recording it's recording so i can now go to any other i can go here it is recording this particular section this is my youtube channel so it's recording it i can go to another you know maybe my my yahoo mail Whatever you have that is open, you know, that you just want to record, you can actually record it. You can go here, anything you want to record, you can record it. So once you're done with recording, you now come back here, see the amount of minutes it has recorded, and then you can click on done. So once you've clicked on done, if you, if you can now go to save and exit save and exit and that video is going to be found in this section of your upload that's the video it will take time to upload it is uploading it right now to take time to upload it so once this is full you know that the video is already uploaded for you to and then now the video is ready once that blue bubble is gone you know that the video is completely uploaded so you can preview what you have done so by just pressing here and then it's recording it's recording so i can now go to any other i can go here it is recording this particular section this is my, my youtube so you find out that it has recorded your screen as you can see you've done some recording with it so now for this particular video you can of course edit it editing in canva is a full video by itself i'll do a video for you if you want to, how to edit your videos on canva but once you have your video like so maybe you want it to be the full screen just want to show you briefly just do it to make it a full screen what you want and then this particular one you can still move it around maybe put it here or put it here or put it here you can still move it around even after the video is uh, ready you can even reduce it so that people don't even see we don't want your face to be shown you can reduce it and all that so once you're done with that you if let's say you don't like this first few path that shows all this uh, you know you don't like it it doesn't look nice so just go here and mm -hmm. click on this scissors and, and then, then it's recording recording. and then it's, it's recording, recording. So, so you can shift it to remove any parts that you do not want any parts that you do not want can be removed. Allow me to take you to the village for a minute. So let's say you don't want this beginning part of the video. It doesn't look nice. You can just go here, as I said, click on that uh, section, and then have this arrow. Once you have this arrow sign, you can just remove all the parts that you don't want, and then stop where you want to start. Maybe you want to start here. The same thing here, you can also do the same thing, and then remove all the parts that you don't want, and then stop at the parts that you want. So once you're done, you can now play it and see where it's going to start. See, it's starting directly from here. And then it's recording. So that's it. It's just a short way of how you can do your videos. I can't spend my time on showing you how to do video editing. 
I will do a complete video on how to use Canva to edit your videos. But in this video, I'm talking about some free video creation softwares that you can use as a beginner that is friendly and wonderful. So let's go to the second one. The second the video software you can use is actually Zoom. A lot of people use Zoom to do meetings. I use Zoom to do meetings. But you can also use it to record your screen and it's completely free. Once you've downloaded your Zoom and you've opened it up onto this your screen, all you have to do is to just go here, you know, create a new meeting. And once you get to this section, it shows you all this. Once you bring your cursor here, you see all this. So all you can do is to click this to share your screen. And it shows you here that your screen is going to be shared. You click on it and then you say share screen. So now it is recording. So you can record anything you want to record on your screen. You can go here, you know, record whatever you want to record and it will be recording. And you are right here. You can shift, you know, to whatever section that you want to put your face. If you don't even want to put your face, you can always um, remove your face completely if you don't want to put it. So always ensure that this little icon here is on to actually show you that you're recording. Be very sure that it's on. And once you've finished recording, once you bring your cursor up there, it brings this down and then you can just click here to stop. It will just stop your recording for you. And then once it has stopped, you just come here and end the meeting. Click end the meeting. So once you click end the meeting, it has stopped recording and then it will start rendering your videos to create your videos for you. Now, the few times I have used this, I really do not know how to edit with this. I don't think you can edit with this. I don't know yet, but I've not tried editing with uh, Zoom. What I do is that I carry the video clip and I go and edit using Canva. So that's it for Zoom. Just know that you can use Zoom to record your screen. My third video creation software that is completely free is this free online screen recorder. Actually, it's called apowersoft.com and it's quite easy to use and uh, user friendly. Once you get to this website, you click and download the app. So once you've downloaded a power on your, uh, that is what it is. Once you click on it, it gives you this particular screen. So let's see how we can record. You just click here that the full screen mode is on. And then here you can decide to use without a webcam or I could use it with a webcam. That's it. But if you don't want to show your face, as I said, you can just click here and record without a web camp but I want to record with a webcam so let me just click there so that to show my face good so now just click on record and it shows you this just click that you want the trial version and then it will record for you so the recording has started you might not see it here but under my you know it's showing it will show right at the bottom of your computer here that your recording has started so you can do anything whatever you want on your screen that you want to video you can video it and once you're done you just come down here it's very obvious you just click on the red square and it is off so that is your record and you want to play it and see what it looks like so that's your recording completely so so this is what our short video looks like so you just play it so, so once, once you start, you start recording, recording you can see that you can record everything on your screen you can decide to go here and just record whatever is on your screen and here at any time you can remove this if you want completely so you see, it's very easy to use, very easy to use. That is why I don't like complications in my life. So if you're a beginner, you can use this and it's free. So you can also use this and do some, all your short, short uh, videos. You can decide not to show yourself. You can decide to just do only your screen 
uh, recording. So that's essentially what um, this particular video creation software can do and it is a free one also. So once you're done with your recording, anytime you want to access your video, just go here. Once you open it up, you just go to your video list and then you see the list of the videos you've already uploaded. So you do with it whatever you want. So you can import your videos here, you can delete the videos you don't want, you can sort out the videos here, and then you can upload it to cloud right here. So that's all there is to it about this um, particularly free video creation software. Let's go to the next one. Now my fourth um, video creation software that is completely free and easy to use is called vidyard v i d y a r d so once you get here put that in google once you get here if you go to their pricing you find that they have a free account and with this free account you can do video recording video uploads then you can even share your video by email social media and more so what you need to do is to just click here to sign up for free. And the good thing about Vidyard is that it has a Chrome extension. So you can just click here, add to your Chrome. So once you've done that, you'll see it right here on your Chrome. That is it here. Once you click on it, it will now tell you to sign up either with your Google account if you have a Microsoft account or if you have a LinkedIn account, you can use any of these to sign up or you can sign up just with an email. Once you click that, you now put in your email and click on next. I need to tell you that to sign up with video, you need a business account, a business email. Because if you just use your normal uh, Yahoo or Gmail, it will not accept. So if you do not have a business email, you can sign up with an email. So I need to let you know that I have a business email which I can sign up with. So if you don't have a business email, it's better you sign up with your Google account or with your LinkedIn account. Or if you have a Microsoft account, you sign up with your Microsoft account. So once you're done with the sign up, you, you come, it will direct you to this screen. So what you need to do, let's record our first video. So what you need to do first, remember to add your microphone. Like me, I'm using a microphone, as you can see on this screen. To add the microphone, if it is your computer microphone, you can add it, you know, add your microphone. And then add your webcam if you want to show your face, as I'm showing my face here. You add your webcam that you're using, you know. So now, you have a choice different choices. You can decide to do a video with your face as my face is showing or you can just click here to just do only your screen recording. So you need to do this setup before you actually start recording. And if you come down here, you see where you can start. Once you click here to start recording and here you can see the number of minutes that you've recorded your screen. So let's do a very short record and let's see how this one goes. I'm going to be recording with my um, screen. So let me start here. Just click here and record. Then this is what is going to show you how it's going to record. So let's click it. You see, it's almost like uh, using Canva. Let's click it and let's share our screen. So it will count down and then it will start recording. It is recording already so let's see let me just do a few things and see what it will record okay good so i'm recording so once i'm done with my recording if i come down here i'll just click for it to stop recording So, 
this is my video so let's see how it has recorded let's see how clear it is now let's play recording already so let's see let me just do a few things and see what to record okay good so i'm recording So once, once I'm done with my recording, if I come down here, I'll just, just click. click. So you see it's good. It, the recording is quite okay. It's very clear. So this is something you can use and it is easy to use. You can see you can copy the link of your video and share it if you want. And here you can trim it. As I said, I don't really use all this to do my editing. My editing, I, I do it basically with Canva. But there's no harm in trying your hands on it. You can trim it here. You can delete the video if you don't want it. You can also download it here to your desktop and then maybe upload it on your video editing software, whichever one that you want to use. For me, I use Canva. So that's it with the video. It's almost like Loom, which is the next one I'm going to talk about. It has a Chrome extension, which is easy. Once you want, you can just click it here and then start using it immediately. To do your videos. Vidyard also with Vidyard you can also get links. You can, as I said, you can copy the link and then you can share it on your social media. It also creates thumbnails for you, custom thumbnail for you that it will show when you share your link. It will show this particular thumbnail, but you could also select it from any section of your video if you want to change this particular thumbnail to use. Uh, another thing you can change this that the link can anyone with the link can see your video you can change it if you want to make that a public one so anybody that clicks you know comes across your link on Google can always watch the video now most times the only reason you might use this is because maybe you don't you don't want the video for any just anybody to look at it you know you just want to give it to people that you want to look at it so you can also do that and I think that's all there is about um, Vidyard. Let's go straight to the next one, which is Loom. The next one is Loom. Loom as a free video creation software. Loom versus Vidyard is not so different. I think the only different thing is that with Loom, you can only, you are allowed to do only five minutes videos on the free version. I think that's the only difference I know of. Maybe there are other differences. I've not really researched into it. But Loom is just like Vidyard. You can have a Chrome extension. I have the Chrome extension of it right here on my Chrome. And uh, you can also search your Google. So let's just go to Loom. So once you've gone to the initial stage of just, you know, registering in with your, this is where you get to. Notice that for Loom, you could use a desktop app. If you want or you could use the just the um, extension the Chrome extension of Loom to be able to do your video uh, recording so once you click on the Chrome extension this is what comes out just like Vidyard, you can just decide to record your screen and camera or the screen only or the camera only. In the process of um, registration, you'll be asked to connect this to. So it's, it's just the same thing that you did with Vidyard. It's not so different. So once you're ready, you just click on um, Start Recording. And then you click here and then you click share screen and then it gives you a countdown and we've started recording and then you'll be seeing here the amount of seconds or minutes that you're recording because this is important because with loom you can only like record five minutes per time on the free plan so nothing more than five minutes so you can record anything on your screen you know anything you want to record 
you can record it so that's loom for you so now once you're done with recording you can come here you can pause it if you want you know and then you can continue again so it's as easy as that then once you're done you click this red box to finish your recording so this is a video recorded with zoom as you can see there's a lot of things you can do with this video you can share your video you can copy the link and then if you go right here if you click down here you can download it if you want or you can even download it right here download it to your desktop and take it to wherever you want to do a real uh, video editing so it's quite as simple it's as simple as video so now that I've done this, let me just play the video so that you see it a little bit. Started recording. And then you'll be seeing the, the amount of seconds, seconds or minutes that you're recording. Because this is important, important because, because with Zoom, you can only record, record five minutes per time, time on the free plan. plan. So, so not more than five minutes. minutes. So, so you can, can record, record anything, anything on your screen. screen. You know, you anything you want to record. record. So that's it. As you can see, it's very clear. You can record your screen. You can decide to record without your face. That it is. That is it for Loom. Now, the very last one I'm going to tell you about is called Free Camp, and that is the one I'm actually using to record all these videos. It's called Free Camp. So let's go to that one. So now the last free video creation software i'm going to be talking about is called free cam now once you put into google free cam screen recorder this is the very first one if you click on it it takes you here where you can do your download all you need is to enter your email and then click i agree to receive emails and all that and then you are free to download it it's very straightforward and very easy to use so once you download it, this is what it looks like. So once it is on your desktop, if you want to record anything, just double click on it. It opens up this small square for you. And then you click on new recording. It is very straightforward. It's what I used to do 80% of my videos. So once you click on new recording, see, you can adjust anything here. You can adjust the space, the amount of, um, what you want to show just by clicking on this arrow here uh, like so or you click to the side like so if you want it to just you know video a certain portion of your this thing and now this is where you do your controls as you can see here you can either cancel it or whatever you want to do here then if you look at your settings you can press F9 on your keyboard if you want to pause a video that you are recording. When you finish recording, you press Escape on your keyboard. Then if you want to discard, you can press F10. It's very easy. So for, for most of the time that I don't want to show my face, I'm always using this. Always. When I don't want to show my face on my YouTube videos. If you see most of my YouTube videos without my face, I'm using Freecam to do it. So that is all there is. Very simple. Even if we don't know anything about video um, recording or creating videos, Freecam is for the most someone that doesn't know anything about using a video to create videos. So let's say I want to create a video. I'll just go here to this red thing and I'll just click on Start. It will count down, and it has already recorded. Once it is red like this, you know that it is recording so i'm just going let me go to my chrome and let's say i just want to open something so it will be recording it one thing you should be aware is that once you've set your space like this you cannot change it so you have to be sure that whatever you're going to record if you're going to record your entire screen ensure that you make your space enough to cover the entire screen so that is it. Let's say I want to pause it now. If I now press F9 on my keyboard, it has paused. You can see that the lines turn black. So right now it is not recording anything. If 
I want to continue my recording, I press the F9 again and the lines turn red. It has started recording. So once I finish recording, if I press escape, I finish recording and it immediately shows you what you have recorded. So if I play it, let's see. And it has already recorded. Once it is red like this, you know that it is recording. So I'm just going, let me go to my Chrome and let's say I just want to open something. So it's are recording it. One thing you should be aware is that once you've set your space like this, you cannot change it. So so that's it. Once once you're done with it, you just save it. Click here to save it. And then you give it a name and then you click save and then on your desktop. So you can use take it somewhere else and then do your um if you want to work on your videos you work on it you can also edit it it has a little bit of an editing thing here if you click on it right now you can work on the video there are certain areas you might want to cut off you can cut it off all you have to do is see this particular thing here if you just draw it like this and ensure that you click on it and then when you just do it like this in whatever section that you want to work on if you want to remove this particular section like so so once you do that this is highlighted you can decide to trim it you can decide to remove the noise you can decide to adjust the volume you can make it in a fade in on a fade out you can zoom that section you can also delete that section so that is a small video editing you can do with this particular free camp video creation software very easy to use that is why i use it most of the time it's so easy i don't like stress in my life so i just use it most of the time and then i do my editing on canva so that is it i actually have a seventh one i know i said that was the last the sixth one but this seventh one i i I discovered it recently and it's also very good and uh, free to use it's called awesome screen recorder and screenshot so once you put in awesome screen recorder and screenshots that's what i put it in there and you search for it this is what comes out the good thing is that you can also have this as a chrome extension this is my chrome extension of it i already have it and I've started using it. So once you are there, you just um, click on it. And when you come here, see all that it can do. You can listen to the video. It's very short to actually take you through how to use it. But I want to show you all that it can do. For instance, first of all, if you don't have it as a screen as a chrome extension you can just click here as you can see for me it is written remove from chrome because i already have it if you don't have it it will show add to chrome and once you click there it will be added as one of your chrome extensions so let's see what it can do number one it is a tool that can do a lot of things it can record can record your screen it can record your screen anyhow if you want to show your face or you don't want to show your face you can do that number two it can capture a page that means if you want to if you see something online if you're browsing online and you see something that you want to capture you can also use this awesome screen recorder to capture you can annotate that means you can use arrows you can use squares you can use all kinds of things maybe if you're illustrating something you can also use it to do it especially if you're using it for video you know so it's very um versatile you can use it for a lot of things i just love it because i just discovered it and i decided to add it as the seventh one so once you have it on your chrome you know you can just click on it and then once you click on it you can see here it will tell you what do you want to do do you want to you know capture what exactly do you want to do 
Uh, let me select, let me see, full page, visible part. I don't want to capture. I want to record. So I'll just go to record. And then what do you want to record? Do you want to record the desktop? Do you want to record only camera? Do you want to record this tab? You know, whatever you want to, to record. Then you turn on your microphone. So it's as easy as that to turn on the microphone. And then I will go back there and I'll say I want to record my desktop. Now, if you want to turn on camera, that is if you want to see yourself while you are recording it, you just turn this on. So I can also turn it on. And then I will go to desktop and I'll click on it. And then I'll start recording. So it, show, it even shows you how you can record your system sound if you want. If you rec want to record your system sound. So you just click on that. And that's it. So you can see me here <laughs> talking. That's me. So it's it's i can just close this tab now and then i'll start recording it's very easy to use i just love it so that's how it looks like you know that's how it looks like very simple so let's see if i want to record um, uh, if i want to record here and I want to record a few things. Maybe I want to talk about uh, something, LMS integrations. Just want to do something short so that you actually see how to record it. So let's say I'm recording this page. I'm talking about it, you know. And then maybe I go to another page like this one. Or I want to open another place. You know so that is how easy it is to to record so once you are done you just click on done so once it has finished recording this is where your video is so once you open the awesome screenshots your once you open your account you check under my items this is where it is to open to actually register for this you need to put in you need to have an email and a password to register for it it's not just uh, putting it on chrome i forgot to mention that once you put it on chrome it will, it will tell you to register so you just register with an email and password and that's all there's nothing else there so once you've done that this year is the video i just finished with that's the video So if you go here, if I click it, you see that is our video that we just finished with. It's very easy to use. That's it. And um, I want to show you, before I end it, I want to show you the pricing. So you actually know how many videos you can, you know, do using this program. So for the free for the free uh, subscription where you don't pay anything, you can do up to 100 screenshots. You can use the basic annotation tools and you can also do up to 20 recordings and up to six hours per recording, which is very, very, very fair. So once you've done up to 20 recordings, you cannot do again, you know? You cannot uh, use it again. What I do not know is, is whether that 20 recording is per month. That's what I don't know because I just started using it. And so far, I've only done a few recording, not much, I think two or three that I've used it to do. So I'm not so sure. But what I'll do, I'll keep using it. If at the end of the day, it is 20 recordings per month, then that is a very, very super deal for you to use as a free screen recorder. So I hope you go ahead and try your hands 
on it. It's in fact, it's it's very it's very wonderful and easy to use. So that's my take on uh, free, easy to use video creation softwares. The ones I use most is FreeCam and Canva. And sometimes I use Loom. So those are the ones that are very simple for me to use. You can make your own choice from the ones that are listed in this video. But for me, I am not an IT person. And my YouTube channel is all about helping people that are not so technical you know to be able to learn to do these things by themselves in a way that will not cost too much to their pockets so thank you so much for watching is there any other one that you use that i did not mention that is even simpler please drop your comments below until then see you in my next video